Okay, thank you. Somebody in the comments told me that you have to push the page over. Oh, I can't believe I didn't notice that. Thank you for telling me that. For toggle color. Okay, so I assigned this button to be toggle color. And right now, look, if you push the page, off is, okay, so the minimum is off, which is one, one state of the pedal, that's off. And the max, which is the other state of the pedal, is white. So it's white and off. You can go, let's see, let's go amber and cyan. There you go, see? So, okay, so what would you, what would you want this effect for? So what, they're, what they, they give you this option, which I think I've figured out why, is because you would assign the mode control pedal to do that. So it's orange in this, in this state, and it's cyan in, in the other state. Or you can go purple or blue or amber or green or red. So you can change whatever color you want. Um, so why would you do that? So what you would do is you would set this pedal to be amber when you push it and red when you push it again. Amber when you push it, red when you push it again. And then you would use an, then you would use an assign function and the assign would be pedal mode one, you know, pedal nine mode one or whatever. Um, pedal, where is it? Mode one, pedal nine. Right, so then you go to moment. So now I have this one as the source, right? It's still changing color. And then you go to, you know, whatever you want your target to be. So there's there's certain targets that you can't get in the, con in the control function menu. So now you have, so say you want to control input effect A, A, S max. I don't know exactly what that is. Um, sync, the sync rate. Input effects, bank A, effect A, sync rate, right? And you want your minimum to be two and you want your maximum to be, you know, a, a quarter note, whatever, whatever you want. So that way you know, that way you get the visual of that's now it's two, now it's quarter note. Now it's two, now it's quarter note. See, so you get the, it makes it so that you can control what the light reads. That's what it is. So I finally figured that out, which is cool, which thank you, boss. For doing that, because otherwise it would just be a, a it would just be a blank um, light, just like any other MIDI. A MIDI, my MIDI controller that I'm using, the Morning Star. You don't get any visual, so Boss gave us the option to have a visual light when we turn a sign effects. But it's again, it's only using these three, or I should, only I should say, it's only using these nine. Anything with a light. So you're gonna need these for obviously the absolute most important things like recording and playing. It's not like creating loops. Um, but then you only really get these three amazing pedals at the top to assign things to. Okay. Which brings me to what I wish there was. I wish, I really hope that Boss, they could, they could easily, uh, I don't know how easily, but they could make something that looks just like this a little six pack MIDI controller with the exact same lights. It would basically be the same form function of one of those delay pedals that they have. Cause they, they're all good. They're all the boss pedals seem to have the same aesthetic right now with the same led lights that are super bright and don't have a dimmer. Um, and they, they could, they could have a little tiny, they could call it like the boss 600 sidecar and it would have just six buttons. It'd be a dedicated controller. Um, come on, boss, what, I have to spell this out for you? Do I, have to, do I have to come up with all the ideas here? So you get a little six-button controller, and it has the lights, and it communicates with the RC600, and you get the feedback. Because right now, all the loopers out there that are using this are saying, wow, this thing has so many functions, and I'm only really getting... I'm going to have to use these pedals to... you know, So i got to hold it down to get to my effects. Now I can turn my effects on and off great, but I'd really like to have an external MIDI controller to do those type of things. So a lot of people I'm sure are using the Morningstar MC8, the MC6 to control it, where boss should just, should just jump on that. They, they could totally seize this opportunity and create a sidecar that, that communicates with the 600. Because everyone that I've spoken to that is a serious advanced looper that is using this thing instantly says, I need more controls because it has more options.
If you have more options, then you need more controls, right? So there, everyone's going to be using non-boss or Roland products to control the functions. You know, so I want something that looks just like this, that gives the same color lights, that has these really nice buttons. They're a little loud. I noticed at my gig last night, they're a little loud. They're a little louder than these. Well, not too much louder. Um, but they feel, they. I'm used to the feel of the 300 buttons. Look at how messed up my 300 is. But, um, so I'm slowly getting used to the 600. This is my backup 600. Yes, I have a backup. You have to have a backup. You have to have multiple backups of everything. But I digress. The boss sidecar pedal. Let's do this, boss. Six buttons. You can assign it to whatever you want. It communicates well in there. All right, call, boss, call me if you need any more ideas.